Hello and welcome to a new trip report. This time from beautiful Bobao. I planned so little time over here. That's really a pity. I really like it. You find here the Guggenheim Museum. Um, actually, I don't have time to visit it because I'm having a crazy couple of days, last days of our holiday with my girlfriend to Andalusia. I'm traveling back in a very crazy way um, to make some more trip reports. Anyway, right behind me, you will find the Feffer railway station. Of there you find some Sacaninas and some other trains to direction something there. The Feffer is using a narrow gauge railway line network that goes all the way up to Galicia. Behind that, you find the normal railway station. I will show you this all in the video. I arrived there by train from Barcelona. And a little bit more that way, you find the railway station for the Esco tram. And Esco tram is also running metros here in Bilbao. But what they also do, they also do have a regional train network. Um, and there's a good connection to San Sebastian. From San Sebastian, you have a good connection to Hende in France. Tell you all about that in this video because I will take that train. I also show you these railway stations for now. I hope you like this video or this is a helpful video to you. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more train related videos, I'll tell you more about a more sustainable way of transportation. Subscribe to my channel. And if you really like it, don't forget to hit the bell button. There you get a notification if I'm uploading a new video. For now, let's roll the intro. arrived in Bilbao with the Alvia train that came from Barcelona. Alvia trains are capable to run both on the conventional railway lines in Spain that do have a wider track gauge than the high speed lines. The high speed lines do have the standard gauge tracks like you can find in the rest of Europe and though the main line tracks you will find broad grade Iberian tracks. However, in the north of Spain, there's also a very big narrow gauge railway line network. And today I'll be taking you on a ride on a part of the narrow gauge railway lines network. Because Spain has such a big high speed rail network, what's really impressive I do have to say, there are trains that can both run on the Iberian and the standard gauge tracks, but there are no trains that can run on narrow gauge tracks and Iberian gauge tracks or standard gates and narrow gates tracks. This is a railway map of Spain. The red lines are the Iberian gates tracks, so the conventional railway lines. The blue lines are the high speed lines and the green lines are the narrow gates railway lines. As you can see, in the north of Spain, there's quite a big network for this. In a way, Bilbao is a kind of a border for these narrow gates railway lines, because everything west from Bilbao is being run by Renfe with Feffe trains and everything east from Bilbao is being run by Esco Tren. Esco Tren is running trains on these narrow gauge railway lines but also the metro in Bilbao and the trams for example. Esco Tren is having a great frequent connection to Hende in France. One thing you should keep in mind None of these trains that run on the narrow gauge lines in the north of Spain are listed in the international timetable for trains. Ticket prices for both the Feffe and the Esco train are really affordable. This is the metro map of the Esco train. Interrail and Eurail are not valid on these trains, so you need to purchase a ticket. Once again, ticket prices are not that high and especially not for longer distances. One thing you should keep in mind, and this counts for the entire narrow gauge network in the north of Spain, these trains are not fast at all. The travel time by these trains between Bilbao and San Sebastian is about 2 hours and 40 minutes. But the same route by car is about 1 hour and 15 minutes. And by bus it's about 1 and a half hour. But we'll take the train today, because this is really a scenic route and this counts for the entire narrow gauge network in the north of Spain. But before I will show you the train, I will show you a little bit of the main railway station of Bilbao, because this is where I arrived by train. Right next to the tracks for the long distance trains, there are quite a lot of car rental companies. And this here is the train that took me here. A small convenience store is located at the end of the long distance trains platform. And a little bit more at the side, behind those access gates you see right here in front of me, you will find the Second Niñas. The Second Niñas are the commuter rails of Spain. Even though Escotren is definitely a commuter rail system, 
Second Ninjas are being operated by Renfe, the state-owned railway company of Spain. Most Second Ninja trains do run on the Iberian Gate tracks, however, here in Bilbao there's one line for the Second Ninjas that also runs on the Feffe Narrow Gates railway tracks. I'll get back to this in a bit. A ticket desk and some vending machines can be found a little bit more at the front of the station. Apart from that, there are some places where you can buy food and there are departure and arrival screens over here. Make sure you look good at the differences between the departure and the arrival screens because I was confused sometimes here in Spain. One thing I absolutely love, but I didn't put it good on film, but thank goodness I took a picture of this, is the leader glass at the end of the terminal station. If you go down here right below the leader glass, you will get at a point where there are more shops, places where you can buy food, mainly fast food. Well, you will get it, the usual shops you can expect at a railway station. And I really like the architecture over here. From this point of the railway station, you also find access to the metro system of Bilbao. Several buses do depart from bus stops at the front of the railway station and something else you find here is the tram of Bilbao. Even though the main railway station that I just showed you and the railway station for Feve, so the narrow gauge railway lines being operated by Renfe, the state-owned railway company of Spain, are really close to each other, these are two separate stations. Within the railway station of the Feffe there are some vending machines, a ticket desk and some information screens for departing trains and that's basically it. It's not that big. For the Feffe trains there are only two tracks and one of these trains is also running as a Seca Nina train, so commuter train for Bilbao. That specific suburban line runs pretty frequent. The other entrance of this railway station looks much more stunning I do have to say as you can see over here. Anyway, my train won't depart from none of these stations. From the main railway station and the Feffe railway station, it's about a 5 minute walk to the railway station for the Esco train. The name for this railway station, well I'm not trying to pronounce the lower one, but the upper one, Casco Viejo, I can do that. I think the lower one is in Basque language. Right at the front of this railway station, I saw some bike sharing program. This is not the terminal station for the Esco train trains. However, it's a really nice station though. Below the railway station you find entrance to the metro of Bilbao. I don't know if you can do this route from the main railway station to here by metro as well, but it's a short walk anyway. Probably walking is faster. There are screens that will hold information about departing trains from here and there are some vending machines. If you need some assistance, there is staff to assist you. You can pay easily with both cash and cards. And the ticket price for this ride today is only 6 euro and 50 cents. Directions are given clearly. By the way, keep in mind the Basque name for San Sebastian is Donostia. And this will be used over here. A line map of which I'm sure of not all stations are written on this map is displayed before you go to the platform. And the platforms are pretty straightforward. This really looks and feels more like a metro than a commuter rail system. This counts for quite a lot of railway stations along these routes. The trains are really commuter trains and for some trains that will not do the longer distances there are not even toilets within these trains. However, that doesn't count for my route today. There is a toilet on board of the train that I'll be taking. And this is my train coming in that will take me to San Sebastian or Donostia. These trains have been built in 2011 by the Spanish train manufacturer CAF. The top speed for these trains is only 90 km per hour and they do have a capacity of 400 passengers per train set. Passenger service information is given very well. On the LED screens above the compartments this is of course in Basque, Spanish, French and in English. Apart from that, there are lots of screens that will host more detailed route information, but also advertisements for example. These are truly commuter trains, and in a way they feel a little bit like an upgraded metro. There are some seats sidewards, and over there there's also some extra space for passengers if they need to stand. And there are quite a lot of folding seats I do have to say. Taking your bike in these trains is no problem. And if you're traveling with a buggy for young children or if you're traveling in a wheelchair, there's lots of space for that. In these trains there's one small toilet and well it's actually not that small, there's one toilet and this is how the toilet looks like. 
It's also accessible for people with mobility problems. There are no official power plugs within these trains, but at some spots near the entrance doors I noticed some USB charging points. At several spots above the windows there are line maps available within these trains. There are no luggage racks. Larger items can be placed within the back ends of the seats or under the seats. The comfort level of these trains is pretty good for a commuter train. These are truly commuter trains and these trains are good for the job that they're serving for. For now I'll show you some views from the train on this route. It was a rainy day but the views are absolutely stunning from the train. If you want to know more about both railway stations of San Sebastian or Donostia you can find videos in the description of this video. And also if you want to know more about the escort train to Hende in France I do have a video on that as well. So that's it for this trip report. I found out I haven't done a proper end of the video while I was arriving at the railway station. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you want to see the railway station and the, the escort train railway station on Donostia or Sebastian, I have a video on the train from there to Hende in France and also from Hende to uh, Paris. So if you want to see the railway station of Hende, you can also find it on this channel and also the main railway station. I will link that all in the description of this video. I really hope that you like this video or this has been a helpful video to you. If so, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you'd like to see more train related videos, subscribe to my channel. Before I really end this video, I want to tell you something about other trip reports I did. Because if you're interested in other trip reports I did, of course you can find them on this channel. And another thing, in the description of this video on YouTube you find a link to a map and on this map I add all trip reports. The lines do indicate the routes and the train and ferry icons do indicate the railway station and ferry terminal reviews. Of course I'm making more videos so this map will be updated as well. That's really it for this video. I hope you liked it once again. If you did so please give me a thumbs up or if this has been a helpful video to you and when you want to see more subscribe to my channel. See you on my next video.